Continue 12 Kenyan golfers and three others from Nigeria, Uganda and Zimbabwe go into the bubble tomorrow after undergoing the COVID-19 tests. The players have put in more than 10,000 hours of practice to prepare for the two European tour events in Kenya, the Magical Kenya Open and the Savannah Classic, both at the current golf club. Captain John Wangai, popularly known as CJ Wangai, is one of the 12 Kenyans that will fly the flag high at the two events in the next two weeks. The Kenyan players are happy to have received sponsorship from Vision 2030 that will take care of their bubble fees and carry fees as well. The players will be in a bubble for 12 days, staying in a hotel where they will not interact with anyone else outside the bubble. I think since I started my golfing career, this is the year that I'm very happy. And reason being is that this year we have a chance of playing two European events. CJ and the other Kenyan pros played in the Safari Tour, a series of nine tournaments where they accumulated points to enable them qualify for the Magical Kenya Open. The tournaments this time have given them more practice than the visiting European golfers who have had a rough past 13 months because of the conditions in Europe. They were on total lockdown. They were not playing golf at all. But here down in Kenya, though with COVID, we were able to play golf. We were able to play the safari tour. So I believe this tour has really, really prepared us very well. And I think this will come out evidently uh, during the Kenya Open and during the Savannah Classic, whereby we are hoping that this year more Kenyans are going to do better. For CJ, the magical Kenya Open and the Savannah Classic have a two-phase approach. One phase is making the cut, the second phase is winning the event. So my target is first to make the cut in both events and then probably finish a top 10. The two events are important to pro golfers as they earn them points for ranking on the European Tour. The number of Kenyans playing has increased to 12, an improvement from yesterday years. But is that a good number? It's not really a good number. We would expect more. But then, as we know, this is a European Tour event. There are rules and uh, regulations that govern uh, the host country. So, but but, but uh, it's more better than last year, than, than the previous year. We had played only eight Kenyans. So the number's increasing. But I would say if more Kenyans are able to participate, the more chances we'd have of winning. One guy says with the sponsorship from Vision 2030, they can now concentrate on playing, especially how to tackle the power 4 third hole and the power 4 15th hole deemed to be the most difficult.